2 system is a three-dimensional color animation system. Anima 2 is self-contained and responsive. An animator can sit down with an idea and in a few hours produce a completed animation sequence. The system has two parts. In data generation, the animator creates and manipulates three-dimensional objects in wireframe mode. Then the animator writes a script in the Anima 2 language to control the motion and appearance of those objects. The script generates an animation sequence displayed in real time on a standard television and optionally recorded on videotape. The equipment used in Anima 2 includes a digital disc which stores animation sequences, a PDP-1145 computer, and a special video interface. The animator works with an alphanumeric terminal, a line drawing display with interactive controls for data generation, and an ordinary television receiver and videotape recorder. Data generation in Anima 2 is much like sculpting three-dimensional objects. Animators can use the primitive geometric objects provided by the system, or draw or type in their own. A basic feature of data generation is the intersection routine. An object can be formed from the common area of two objects, or two overlapping objects can be joined into a single object, or one object can cut another. Any object can act like a tool to carve another. Intersections, along with scaling, translation, and the other data generation routines, can be repeated to produce complex objects. This sculpting process can also treat an object as a flexible material. The animator can select a point on an object and push and pull it in space. can draw a skeleton for an object and then by bending that skeleton the whole object can be bent to fit it.
The Anima 2 language provides complete and structured control of images through time. To this first sample Anima 2 script, which positions an object in the screen, commands are successively added which change position, rotation, shape, and size. All commands execute sequentially and take effect in parallel, so that animation of any complexity is controlled by simple, independent commands without looping. Other language features provide control over color, intensity, and background, path movement and changing rates of motion, and scene directives like pans, zooms, and perspective. Anima 2 has produced games for interactive cable television. In this game, home viewers must keep track of the alien jumping from saucer to saucer as they pass through each other. When the saucer lands, viewers signal on their control consoles which saucer holds the alien, and the console lights for a correct answer.